I was 15 when I run the first time. I'm 38 in a few in next month, so it takes it's 15. That's 23 years. This will be my 23rd year. This might, might not look like much of a car, but nobody else wants to run with it. This car here is a 75 Newport, and it's been modified a little bit to meet the stock derby rules. A lot of people will buy a $500 car and make it last one year. I like to buy a $500 car and make it last five, six, seven years. I, I like the mid-70s um, cars because they're built out of something, you know, a little more metal in them. They'll last you longer. You know, you work all year on a one car to run it one year, and then the next year, if you have to get a new car again, you gotta put all that work back in it. I like to buy, find a car that's tough and I make it tougher, that way I don't have to work on it every single year, stripping it down, get it derby ready. I just gotta fix what I mess up. Broke my old, my stock steering last year. I had to bend the frame down in the front, frame was bent up. I had to fix all kinds of steering issues. I had to build a slider shaft, I had to fix all my steering issues that we got bent up last year in the, in the run I had. But last year, I got like fifth in the, in the feature, and um, I went down with an explosion. It was a transmission fire and it exploded on me. I got people that hate me, and everybody, you know, don't want me winning nothing, and I got people who root for me every year. You know, that's the only reason they come up here and see me. When I start? Yeah. When I was 18. I'm 43 now. And they kicked me out one year. <laughs> I got pissed off, got hung up, drug another car out, almost run over some people. Uh, sheriff's deputy, uh, they frowned upon that a little bit. I got charges pressed, had to do some community service. But I'm back in there. <laughs> All the Bowers? Mm -hmm. Those are guys that everybody loves to hate up here. <laughs> Why do they hate them? Because uh, they win. <laughs> they put on the car Highland uh, with crybabies and or next yeah, and Highland or the neck stretchers and stuff That's like that. Hey, she went. I don't know why I do it. it ain't much to do in Highland County, so gotta take. Every opportunity you can to do something that you'd like to do. Of course, this is the bullshit part. You gotta lay around underneath for days and days and days, and then you work your ass off and finally get to the high of the adrenaline. So I guess that's the reason I do it. Mm -hmm. When I first started, you know, you might go down the road and find an old farmer who had an old 70s model car sitting behind the barn, more than glad to get rid of it. Those days are long gone. You know, you gotta buy them and, you know, you gotta work on them. I went all the way to Winchester and picked this up, or 20 miles north of Winchester, so two and a half hour ride one way. But it's a good car, I hope. Good, tough car. But we'll see. So, Rudy, how long have you been doing these? A long, long time. Uh, on my own since 1981. Gary works for me every show that I do. And then we have uh, several other guys that help us out in locations, depending on where we're at. We try to run vehicles by the number of cylinders, the size, and the weight. We try to put the, like the two-door cars and the lighter cars in one heat, and then if we're going to run two heats or more, we'll put the heavier cars in, uh, in a different heat. Normally, I mean, once in a while we get a car to roll over or a car will catch on fire. And that's more exciting for the, not the participants, but of course the spectators like that, because that adds, you know, people don't go to the, to the Daytona 500 to watch them go round, round, round. They watch them, they go to watch them crash. Hi, my name is Richie Hanger. Right. I'm the UPS guy for Highland County. And I ain't quite sure how I got wrangled into this. Well, all of them take a lot of work. And that's one thing I didn't know about derbies. There's a 
tremendous amount of work involved in getting a car ready for the derby. All the glass to be removed, gas tank needs to come to the front seat, cut holes in the hood, take everything plastic and everything fiberglass off the car, the hubcaps, all the trim. Uh, If you're going out to tear it up, you just go out and try to hold her down, just hit everybody. But if you want to drive smart to win, you got to kind of try to miss everybody, I guess. But we're here to put on a show. We ain't going to miss nobody. Now, we're here to tear it up. Before I could walk, I had a wrench in my hand. I was my mama's little angel. My daddy's second chance, he went end over end. First year he went through and he lost part of his life. He couldn't race no more. He never lost his touch when he got under a hood. He knew how to make him run. He knew one day he would see his name in Victor Lane and engraved on that cup just like all of us. It was. They ran them out of the game. And your third place. I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. 83 and 5. It was good. It was a good derby. I love hey. it, man. Hey, buddy. Huh? I took an ass beating, little buddy. There's a lot of hard hits, I can tell you that. A lot of hard hits. Is the winner right here? I tell you what, there's a lot tougher cars out here in this heat than what I got left. But I'm gonna go out there and finish it off. We, the winners go into the feature for the overall winner. Okay? For everybody splashing on their car, trying to get it as prepared for the feature as they can get it. six this year and I think it's done you know I had a lot of luck with this car uh, a lot of people was tore up a lot of cars on this car trying to beat it and um, I'm pretty proud of it yeah we'll do it again next year we'll have one for him we'll have one for me but um, but yeah we're uh, we're pretty proud of what we've done tonight we come in here and put on a good show for the hometown crowd you know and that's what I'm here to do I'm here to put on a good show for my fans been coming out and supporting me for 22 years. Some of them hate me and some of them love me, but they are all cheering, so that's all that matters. <laughs>